SSC V0 is, is, is about the requirements of two copyleft licenses, uh, the GNU general public license and the GNU lesser general public license. Um, and these are copyleft licenses as uh, in, in contrast to permissive licenses. So uh, some open source licenses are permissive. These don't require much of, of the user uh, if you're using and distributing them. But other types of open source licenses are what we call copyleft licenses. Um, and they require you to provide certain source code um, uh, to the open source software when you distribute it. Uh, they also may require you to, to license some of your proprietary code uh, under the terms of the open source license. Um, and so there are two flavors of, of copyleft. There's weak copyleft um, in which if you distribute open source code, um, you're required to provide the source code for that open source code uh, to the to the people to whom you distribute it, and if you've modified that that open source code, you have to provide your modifications uh, in source code form under the terms of the open source license. Um, so those are weak copyleft licenses, and, and the one involved in this case, as I as I said, was the is the lesser general public license or the LGPL. Um, other weak copyleft licenses you may have uh, encountered are the Mozilla public license and the Eclipse public license, and you know, there, there are others as well. Um, the other sort of category of copyleft licenses are strong copyleft licenses. Um, the most commonly uh, encountered form of those are, are the, the GNU general public license, the GPL, um, and the Afero general public license. Um, and the, the difference between those the strong copyleft licenses and the weak copyleft licenses is that the strong copyleft licenses, in addition to requiring um, you to license your modifications to the open source code under the open source license, uh, you're also required to license any derivative works uh, that you make of the copyleft code. So, so that could require you, you know, even if you haven't modified the open source code itself, if you incorporate that open source, unmodified open source code into your product, or if you, you know, maybe even link to that, you know, a library that's licensed under the strong copyleft license, uh, your entire proprietary product can be required to be licensed under the terms of the strong copyleft license and then require you to provide the source code for that. Um, so as you said, you know, GPL, you know, V2 is probably the most commonly encountered one um, and, but also the AGPL, uh, and G and, uh, GPL three are strong copyleft licenses. 